Under Triple H's leadership, WWE has released numerous superstars due to budget cuts. One such wrestler, Ricochet, who has since joined AEW, recently discussed his departure from the Stanford-based promotion, specifically the way his storyline was concluded. The one and only's last televised WWE match was on the June 3, 2024, episode of Monday Night Raw. He lost a singles match to Braun Breaker and was viciously attacked backstage afterward. Ricochet was subsequently taken to hospital in an ambulance with his fiancée, Samantha Irvin, by his side. The former Intercontinental Champion was written off television because his contract with World Wrestling Entertainment was nearing expiration and he had not renewed it. Ricochet later made his All Elite Wrestling debut at the 2024 All-In event at Wembley Stadium. On the Ringer Wrestling Show, the 35-year-old star discussed his final run in the Stanford-based promotion. Ricochet recalled having a brief conversation with Chief Content Officer Triple H about his exit and believes WWE intended to keep the door open for a potential return. Yeah, I think going into it, I think, I knew how my time on WWE TV would end, and even later, me and Triple H had a little talk and he was just like, anytime, whatever. Because I just hadn't re-signed and it was kind of like my last time there before the time ran up. I think they knew I just wasn't gonna do it. So, I think they were just trying to give me a good out that made me, you know, something that was open-ended. What's gonna happen? So I think they wanted to leave it that way but I think they knew that wasn't gonna happen, he said. H slash T post wrestling. Ricochet comments on whether he was frustrated with WWE's creative. During the same interaction on the Ringer Wrestling Show, the one and only expressed his feelings about whether he was satisfied or dissatisfied with the WWE storylines and decisions being made by the creative under Triple H's regime. Ricochet acknowledged that he was frequently featured on television but felt the quality of his work was lacking. The former WWE star admitted that he could have done better but still had positive experiences during his tenure. I was out there a lot. I was on television a lot, I was actually used a lot, but the quality of what I was doing specifically wasn't there. It was a lot of quantity of ricochet, but the quality of what he was getting just wasn't what I wanted, and that's okay. That's just how it falls. I can only blame myself. I can't blame anybody else. I just can't. But it wasn't really frustrating because I had a lot of good times there still. But was there more I wanted to do? Absolutely. But man, I can't say it was frustrating because I still had a good time, he said. Ricochet made his singles debut in AEW on Dynamite, defeating Kyle Fletcher. It remains to be seen if WWE would be interested in rehiring the 35-year-old star in the future. In the world of professional wrestling, few transitions are as seismic as a superstar shift from WWE to AEW. Such a move can stir speculation, fan excitement, and, inevitably, a whirlwind of behind-the-scenes drama. Recently, the spotlight has been cast on a former WWE star who made headlines not just for their high-profile switch but also for the intriguing words shared with them by Triple H before they embarked on their new journey. The star in question, known for their charismatic in-ring presence and a string of memorable matches, had been a pivotal figure in WWE. Their move to AEW was a topic of discussion long before the official announcement, with rumors swirling about their reasons for the transition and what it might mean for both companies. Triple H, known for his no-nonsense approach and deep understanding of the wrestling business, had always been more than just an executive. To many, he was a mentor, a friend, and a guiding force. For the former star, this meeting was both a farewell and a passing of the torch. As they sat across from each other, Triple H leaned back in his chair, his demeanor relaxed but his eyes sharp and focused. You know, he began, his voice carrying the weight of years of experience, when you're in this business long enough, you see the cycles. People come, people go. It's the nature of the beast. The former star nodded, feeling a mix of nostalgia and anticipation. I've been thinking a lot about what's next, they admitted. AEW is a different world, and it's exciting, but also daunting. Triple H gave a knowing smile. Change is always daunting. But it's also where growth happens. 
you're stepping into a new chapter, and it's going to be different. Embrace that difference. He paused, as if choosing his words carefully. I know the rumors, the speculation. But you're not just moving to another company, you're stepping into a role where you can redefine yourself. AEW is carving its own path, and you have the chance to be a key part of that journey. The former star was silent for a moment, absorbing the gravity of Triple H's words. But what about the pressure? The expectations? Triple H's expression softened. Pressure is a part of this business, no matter where you are. But it's how you handle it that defines you. Use it as fuel. And remember, it's okay to make mistakes. What matters is how you bounce back. He leaned forward slightly, a gesture that conveyed both seriousness and camaraderie. And don't forget where you came from. WWE has been a huge part of your career. It's not about leaving behind what you had, but about taking those lessons and experiences with you. They'll shape you, guide you. The former star's mind raced as they thought about the future. I've always respected how you've managed to stay relevant, to adapt with the times. Any advice on how to navigate this new chapter? Triple H's eyes twinkled with a hint of mischief. You know, adaptability is key. But it's not just about changing with the times. It's about being true to yourself. AEW has its own style, its own audience. Find where you fit in that world, but don't lose who you are in the process. He then shifted gears, talking more personally. One thing I've learned over the years is that wrestling is about stories. It's not just about the matches, the moves. It's about telling a story that connects with the audience. You've always had a knack for that. Don't lose that. Let your story evolve, but make sure it's still yours. As the conversation continued, Triple H's parting words were filled with a mix of encouragement and realism. It's going to be an adventure, no doubt. But embrace it. Don't be afraid to take risks. And most importantly, have fun. Because if you're not having fun, then what's the point? The former WWE star left that meeting with a renewed sense of purpose. Triple H's words were more than just farewell sentiments, they were a roadmap for navigating the challenging terrain of professional wrestling's evolving landscape. As they stepped into their new role in AEW, the former star carried with them the wisdom imparted by one of wrestling's most influential figures. Triple H's parting words served as a reminder of the journey ahead, a journey marked by both challenges and opportunities, shaped by both past experiences and future aspirations. In the world of professional wrestling, transitions are inevitable.